Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to protect your server from being griefed using the Grief Protection plugin. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section and type in Grief Prevention in the search bar. It's this one with the shield. Install the latest version and restart your server. What this plugin does is protect your server from people who might want to destroy and grief your server. This plugin has many features, however it's very easy to set up. It has features such as land claiming, which can be automatic so when a user places a chest, the land near the chest will be claimed. Land claiming has subdivision claiming as well, so you can subdivide your land and allow access to certain players or sell that land if you have plugins to do that. It protects animals and pets, protects items that are dropped on death, it has multiple chat protection features, as well as automatic warnings, mutes and bans. It also has PvP protection features, such as inbuilt combat log, and many more features. All of this information can be found on the plugin page. Let me quickly go over the config. In the config, you'll see some preset options for your world. These are the most important options. The options you can choose from is Survival, Creative, Survival Requiring Claims, and Disabled. Disabled disables the claiming feature. Survival allows players to break blocks in the wild, but also have claims on and have all of the claiming features. Creative doesn't allow breaking blocks in the wild, only in the claimed land. However, when a player abandons the claimed land, everything they've built will be removed and the area will be restored to a natural state. This option can of course be enabled in survival mode also. Survival requiring claims is a mode that only allows players to build inside claimed land. You may want to find a way to give a player a golden shovel to claim the land as they won't be able to mine any gold. Or if you set the claim land item to something else, give them that. You can further customize more features such as the amount of blocks to claim you start with, how many blocks you gain every hour and the max amount of blocks. You can change how many days the claim lasts until it expires. This is of course when a player is inactive and doesn't log into the server. Chat and spam features can be changed such as banning players after spamming too much. You can change the PvP options here. You can even even enable an economy option here, but if you want to enable that feature, you will have to install Vault and an economy plugin. All of these options are explained on the wiki under the setup and configuration section. I'll link the wiki in the description. I really recommend you read it as it explains everything in detail. So now let's get into game and test out some of the features. Now that we're in game, I'll show you some of the commands and features you can use. The first thing you might want to do as an admin is protect important areas like spawn. To do this, type slash admin claims and this will claim land which will be protected and not expire. Get your claim tool and right click around the area you want to claim, just like this. To adjust the size, right click on one of the glowstone blocks and expand or shrink your claim, just like I've shown you here. Typing slash basic claims will return you to normal player claims. As a normal player, you will have a limit of how many blocks you can claim. You can see that in the chat as you start claiming your area. If you've claimed a large area and want to create subclaims, you can do that by typing slash subdivide claims. Now you can make multiple claims inside your main one. This is good to create towns and such, as you can trust and give access to people only in the subclaim and not in the main claim. All of these commands you have to perform when you're standing inside a certain claim you want to give access to. To give access to others, there are a few commands. Slash trust and then the player name will give the player permissions to edit your claim. So if they want to build something in it, they can. Slash access trust and then the player name will give the player permission to use buttons, levers and beds. Slash container trust and then the player name will give the player access to animals, crafting, chests, etc. And finally, slash permission trust will give them permission to invite their friends and use these commands. You can check who's in the trust list by typing slash trust list while standing in the claim land. Then if you want to remove permissions from the players, type slash untrust and then the player name. Or you can just do slash untrust space all. There are other cool commands like slash give pet to give away a tamed pet or slash trapped to teleport outside of a claimed land you're stuck in. 
You also might have noticed that when I perform certain things in game, in the chat there will be links to video tutorials. You can watch these to get a better understanding about the plugin. If you want to find all the commands on this plugin, make sure to visit the wiki page. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you have any issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.